All right, man. State your name and tell me who you roll with. TV is Dave. Actually, David Sains. And I roll with Valente. <laughs> Where are you from, brother? San Jose. Actually, born and raised here in San Jose. Okay. All my life. Your first DJ mixer you ever bought? Actually, it was a new mark. Uh, I think it was a 1950. Really? Actually, I bought it used from one of my friends. It was the 19 inch, and it had effects, and you could hook up three turntables or four. Wow. That was a long time ago, though, dude, but I bought it actually one, uh, off of one of my friends. Okay. Uh, another question I want to ask you Star Records or Upstairs Records? Upstairs Records. Upstairs Records. Even though I used to go to Star Records, but there was a guy that was kind of rude. So every time you went in there and asked for a certain record, he goes, Yeah, I have it. I actually have three, but I'm holding them. <laughs> For someone else, so I could never get what I wanted. So I said, "F that." Started Ooh. going to John Lopez. <laughs> What's, records? What's up, John Lopez? Yee. And Jojo. And Jojo. Angelina. <laughs> <laughs> the Raiders or the Niners? Mm. I like the Niners. The Raiders are cool though too. All right, man. All right. Good. The Giants or the A's? Giants. But actually, I'm not a baseball fan, so huh? I like them both, Giants and A's. <laughs> okay. All right, man. Uh, Nike or Adidas? <laughs> <laughs> Nikes, these are actually Heineken's original. I have another pair sitting at home on ice. So uh, <laughs> these are my Nikes. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I have a question. I love Nikes though. Boxers or tidy whities? Uh, <laughs> boxers. <laughs> Boxer briefs. <laughs> You gotta keep them bad boys in place. <laughs> yeah, because if you have boxers and you run, right, you're loose. <laughs> Your compadres are everywhere. Yeah. Right? Oh man, dude. So that they fall out. <laughs> oh, okay, then there's four boxers. Okay. Uh, Pepsi or Coke? First it was Pepsi, now it's Coke, and now Diet Coke. First record you ever bought? Actually, you know what? It was actually a crate off my friend. I wasn't even a, D even a DJ yet, but someone owed him money. So we went to his house, and he goes, look what I bought. I got off all this DJ because he owed me money. So it was actually me and my brother. It was a, a box like this of all, nothing but all the classic high energy, like Lime, Mondelay, Damn. New Toy, Robert Palmer looking for clues, all that for 20 bucks, and it was a box like this. So I could say it was probably maybe 100 records that I got for 20 bucks, and they were all original 12 inches. And they're still sitting at home in my garage. That's dope. And they're all cherry, not scratch or anything. That DJ must have been a dope head, bro. <laughs> I, don't know, I got him for 20 bucks and I couldn't complain. I wasn't even a DJ yet. I just heard Radical Rich playing all that music. I heard that. So with I your... wanted it. I have one more to ask you. What's your uh, your most memorable gig? Um, and I know you've done a lot of parties. So I, which one I've done a lot out? of stuff, but you know what was I really liked a lot? It was the first time I DJed on Wild with Javier the X-Men, and it was on a Sunday at 10 o'clock. And what was crazy is it was the first time I was on the radio. Well, the second time, but it was on Wild. And it was at 10 o'clock, and the phone lines lit up like crazy. He even came in there and said, hey, dude, the lines never lit up like this before. So it was crazy, man. That's, it was fun. That's dope, man. Well, thank you so much for coming Thanks out. Thanks for having man. me here, man. I love you guys. We love From you too, brother.